The following is a demonstration of the iFly Weight and Balance for iPad app. It handles both landscape and portrait mode. For the purposes of this example, however, we'll be doing this in the landscape view. For this demonstration, we'll be using a Falcon 900 EX. We do this for all aircraft, and the procedure is pretty much the same. Let's first start by loading passengers in the cabin. There are two methods, either loading a standard weight or the actual weight. Let's start by loading four standard weight passengers, as set in the Preferences section of the application. Now let's load two 210-pound passengers in seats 7 and 8. By touching the entry field, the keypad will automatically show itself. The keypad is movable and can be put anywhere on the screen. The opacity of the keypad can also be changed by making it darker or more transparent. You can touch anywhere off the keypad and that will hide the keypad. Next, let's add 250 pounds of baggage in the forward cargo compartment. Notice after you enter 250 pounds, that entry field turns amber. You've exceeded a maximum weight. In this particular instance, the maximum capacity of the forward bin is 200 pounds. That entry field will remain amber until you enter a value that is at or below the maximum capacity. Next, let's add 20,000 pounds of fuel for takeoff. Let's add 3,000 pounds of landing fuel. The application also allows you to enter the max allowable weight for that flight. This could be either brake energy, second segment climb limiting, or several other factors. For this example, let's enter a max allowable takeoff weight of 46,500 pounds. Notice that now our takeoff weight is above the max allowable takeoff weight. We'll need to correct this to be within limitations. To correct this, let's reduce our takeoff fuel to 19,500 pounds. Now the weight and balance computation is within limits from takeoff to landing. For more information, see the tutorials section in our support page of our website.